Welcome to week three, Action Bets, NFL. Where else would you want to be but right here? Uh, we have a survivor. We got your survivor picks. We've got our pick. He pushed it. He pushed it. Pushed it to the right. I think we're going to get started in the right way. Tommy, who do you like in week four? Yeah, week four, Captain. Let's get right to it. Uh, I like the Seahawks this week. Seahawks, uh, I, I like their chances against the Saints at home, minus four. You know, if you watch that game last week, Russell Wilson just knows how to run this offense. He knows how to get the get the job done. They're 2-0. and Didn't look beautiful, but guess what? They know how to get it done. They're going to be going back home. Drew Brees being out is the major player here. Uh, I think uh, with the backup there going into Seattle, and you know Seattle doesn't have the best defense this year, but they're still Seattle's defense. So, you know what? I like the, the Seahawks minus four at home versus the Saints this week. I've got a question. Why is that only minus four? What You're telling me that if this game was played in, or in New Orleans, that it'd be a one point, they'd be only be favored by one with Teddy Bridgewater? No, I don't. I, I think something smells fishy there. That's a great pick by you. Another great pick that I think it is that smells really putrid is that the Cleveland Browns are playing at home Sunday night, and they're they're getting two and a half points from the LA Rams. LA Rams, for real. They this team is a dominant team, and you got Cleveland coming in on a short week. This is not going to be pretty. They're going to double up Miles Garrett on the outside because they have a really good offensive line. But they got Cooper Cup. They they they've got they got they have a Woods, Gurley, and they have a whole group there. I'm telling you, ten unit play, first ten unit play of the of the what? year is going to be on the Rams minus two and a half. Once again, I'm going to tell you what smells putrid is if the Rams were at home, they're minus two and a half in in uh, Cleveland. If they were at home, you're telling me they're only a five and a half point favorite? Are you out of your mind? No, it's not going to happen. Rams in a blowout. Guaranteed. Well, Captain, this let me ask you last week. Do you have any concern about um, Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield? No. Baker Mayfield's John Manziel. He's a young guy, all right? He has not even played a full 16 games yet, okay? I understand you're in the dog pound, but I understand one thing. You're looking at a better team than they were last year in the in the LA Rams. And I feel that Jared Goff, Gurley, they, they just got a great mix. That defense is rock solid. Yep. And I'm looking at I'm looking at a bad line. I'm looking at lines. I'm looking at bad lines. I was looking at bad lines here, and I was looking at uh, bad lines in college. I it doesn't it doesn't mesh. It yeah, Who's your second pick this week? Uh, I'm actually going to another home team, Captain. I guess you call me the homer this week. Minnesota versus the Raiders. Uh, the Raiders looking pretty decent. Uh, Minnesota, you know, didn't look that bad last week against Green Bay. Kept it somewhat close. But the thing that I'm looking at is the Raiders defense. Uh, you're going to be looking at Minnesota at home. You got Cousins throwing to both guys playing this week. Thielen and Diggs both seem to be a bit, bit healthier going into the week. So, uh, you know, Delvin Cook, great running back. I expect the Minnesota offense to be rolling just like I did two weeks ago. I'm going to go back with Minnesota minus eight and a half to take out Gruden and his Raiders. Well, you know, looking at this, I, I we have two games that are over 20 points. You, you have uh, the Dallas-Miami game and the New England uh. Jets game. And you're talking about two really hurting teams. I mean, the Jets are down to their third string quarterback and the way New England's been paid, it's on a roll. Who do I take there? Because I want to tell you, I'm not using anyone, either one of those in my survivor because there's other plays to make. I'm going to save those good teams for later. But in, in this play right now, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go with the Bills. Solid team at home playing a very, very porous defense in the Cincinnati Bengals. All right. Buffalo at home, 2-0. I look for them to blow out Cincinnati minus 6. That's going to be my play there. Now, turning to Survivor, I've got three entries in my Survivor tournament. I could have used Dallas and New England, both over 20. I'm going to save those for later on because I think I've got three solid winners here. Uh, Green Bay, I love Green Bay over Denver coming in. 
They didn't look very good last week. Buffalo in Cincinnati. Buffalo is one of my top picks. And then I took San Francisco. Coming at home, they're 2-0 and on the road. They're coming at home playing Pittsburgh without a quarterback and without a team. So I'll look at those three teams. Uh, Rams, minus 2.5. Buffalo, minus 6. Go get your money. Yeah, uh, Captain, I like your picks. I'm with the Seahawks, minus 4 uh, versus the Saints. And then also Minnesota, minus 8.5 versus the Raiders. We'll see you next week on Action Bet.